Hello, everybody. I'm going to be talking about more fractions. I feel like fractions are never ending. But we have talked about two different models for fractions. We've talked about the fractions of a whole, where we have an area or a region model, and fractions of a set, where we have a set of different shapes. So if you need to go back and review, please go look at those videos. I'm not going to review it again here. Today we're going to talk about the length model. So in a length model, we're going to have something that looks kind of like a number line. But right here is going to be zero, and this is going to be one whole. The one is for one whole. And if I were to put a line right here, and we'll put a dot, and I ask you, what fraction is this model showing you? Well, if this is your house and you're going to your friend's house and you're right at the halfway point, you've made it halfway there. You have two, it's broken into two parts, one and two. So again, our denominator, there are two equal parts on this length model. You've made it one. So you've made it half of the way there. If you made it to, say, here, you have two halves, which means you've made it all the way to your destination. So let me go ahead and draw a couple more, and we can practice these. These are a little bit tricky, and you might get a little bit confused on them, but hopefully... I will be able to help you. So again, this is always zero. This is always gonna be one whole. We're gonna go ahead and make our line. Remember, we always have a denominator. We always have a numerator. And I'm gonna break this line up into some equal parts. And again, we're gonna pretend like Ms. Shadone is just perfect and these are all completely equal. So I wanna know where my dot is, what fraction is this? What fraction is my line showing? Well, we need to know how many equal parts this line has been broken into. There's one, two, three, four, five. It is broken into five equal parts. Do not count the lines. If you count the lines, you're not going to get the right answer. Count the spaces between the lines. My dot is right here. So I'm looking for my part. How far have I made it? If I'm going to my friend's house, how far have I made it to my friend's house when I'm right here? Well, again, we've made it one, two, three. So you've made it three-fifths of the way. This picture is showing three-fifths. It's called a length model because... It's kind of like a number line. It has length to it. Instead of an area of a one shape or a set of shapes, it is a length. There is a line here. This is showing three fifths. Let's do a couple more and then I think you will have it. All right. So again, this is zero. This is one, zero, and one. And again, if you have a worksheet or something, all of this stuff is going to be done for you. I'm just kind of drawing it as we are going. So I'm going to put this uh, right here, this one here. So let's look at our first one. Again, we know this is a fraction part of a whole, so we are going to have a denominator and a numerator. So we need to know how many equal parts this line is broken up into. Again, please count the spaces between these dashes. So this is one, two, three. So it has been broken up into three equal parts. Well, if you get to this one, you've gone one, two, so the fraction that is being showed in this length model is two-thirds. Again, if you're at home and you're going to your friend's house, you've made it two-thirds of the way there. All right, our next one, 
Again, fraction, we're going to have a numerator and a denominator. Let's see how many equal parts we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's been broken into 7 equal parts. I've only gotten to here, so I've gone 1, 2, 3, 3 sevenths of the way to my friend's house. I really hope that this was helpful. If you're still confused, please send me a message on class tag or you can't comment on the videos. Send me a message on class tag or shoot me an email and I will be sure to provide more examples for you to hopefully help you get a better understanding. That goes for any of the videos you see. If you have more questions, please let me know. That way I can either make a video that better explains it for you or I can give you some kind of more one-on-one -on -one help with whatever you're specifically struggling with. All right, guys, I will be back later to talk about comparing fractions. Not only do we have to know how to determine what a fraction is, we also have to be able to compare two fractions using a model or a picture. Bye, guys.